Hello fellow Helldivers and welcome back. We are back again with another review of the Cutting Edge Premium War Bond in Helldivers 2. And this time we'll be taking a look at the new plasma shotgun introduced. Well, it's not really a shotgun as it's more like a pump action grenade launcher, which is even more crazy the more you use it. So today's video will go over the weapon as a whole, cover some of the pros and cons to it, and whether you should give this weapon a try or not. You'll be able to get the SG-8P Punisher Plasma Weapon by heading into the Cutting Edge War Bonds and buying it from there. Like always, you need to make sure you have around 1000 Super Credits to unlock the new War Bond first, which you can easily get by buying more, or just playing the game and finding them in the open world. As shown, the weapon has the following stats. Damage 100 Capacity 8 Recoil 110 Rate of Fire 80 Comparing this to the SG Punisher shotgun, you can see where the weapon deviates from its original design. It has less damage and capacity than the standard version, which is due to both weapons having different firing mechanisms. The plasma shotgun requires users to land its explosive hits on a specific angle, which requires timing and patience to achieve. The standard Punisher is more in line of a aim, point and click, which will grant a much higher accuracy compared to the latter, thus allowing a higher damage critical hit outcome. Capacity also plays a big part, where the plasma version requires users to be as accurate as possible where they hit, since they don't have a lot of ammo in the base magazine. The standard Punisher has it a bit more easier, as you can take your time with your shots and be more devastated in the process, and still have plenty of ammo available. Although comparing them feels wrong, as they are only similar by design, it's still important to showcase where both weapons would strongly correlate with each other, as best as possible. The Punisher Plasma in Helldivers 2 in the right hand can be a game changer if you land your shots, as it can stagger like a shotgun while inflicting high damage on direct impact, not seen with most shotguns. It comes with high damage, explosive bolts that can damage medium armor, and decent ammo economy, something that I feel is well suited for the given weapon. Simply, this weapon is great if you treat it more like a grenade launcher with a small AoE, rather than a shotgun, which I know does sound weird, but once you try it in game you'll see where I'm coming from. You won't exactly be clearing groups of enemies with it compared to the breaker shotgun, or flamethrower and arc thrower, but its explosive projectiles means that you'll still be able to damage targets even if you hit the ground near them. I have found this instance useful, as if I'm going up against the blue commander for example, I can use the weapon's AoE effect to destroy their legs quickly, and then finish them off with a simple headshot, all within one magazine, or a half. The Punish Plasma also comes with the benefit of being effective versus medium armor, even though it's listed as having only effect against light armor penetration. Why this is the case, I don't know, but since it fires explosive rounds, rather than the standard shotgun rounds, it means that you can deal with the more armored units quite effectively. However, just because it uses explosive rounds does not mean it can destroy the container doors you see out and about. Trust me, I have tested this. Incredibly, what makes the Punisher Plasma unique is its ability to damage chargers by shooting at the ground below them. The AoE splash damage of these shotgun projectiles can hit the charger's underbelly, hurting it, and eventually killing it with enough shots. However, this method is somewhat unreliable as the charger's belly is sometimes too far off the ground for the explosion to hit at times. And from that point, I will recommend you aim for the more but weak point, or just go ahead and break one of his other key points and do damage from there. Although the weapon's hybrid nature is quite crazy to understand, it does come with a few cons that are hard to avoid. Firstly, it lobs its projectiles in the arc fashion, instead of the standard aim and shoot, while also having a low zoom. This is both interesting and annoying to use, as it requires users to use it more like a grenade launcher than anything else. However, the requirement of understanding where you are aiming to can place you in a really bad spot if you have to face multiple enemies at once. My biggest issue I found was that when the situation does get out of control, you won't have enough time to calculate where your shots need to go, as there are just too many things happening on screen. 9 times out of 10, you will need to rely on your secondary as the weapon is so restrictive to medium ranges. Secondly, this goes back to the last point I just made. The weapon has a very high self damage potential, to the point of it not being usable for anything too close. If you by chance face any enemy type that likes to get in your face, then good luck with hitting them, as 9 times out of 10, you will hit them and potentially kill them, but you'll most likely kill yourself in the process. 
this does make me question why the weapon is considered a shotgun, since it doesn't act like one, and it can kill you in the process if you don't pay attention to your surroundings. But thirdly, it has a bit of a learning curve to it. While the gun's damage profile is quite good, it requires players to know how to aim and land their shots, which means players will need to aim higher than usual to compensate for the projectile drop. The projectile drop are quite steep, and the further out the enemy is located, the higher aim will need to be, which at that point might not be worth it. The lobs explosives are good for hitting things behind cover, hitting hard to hit weak points, good for dealing with emerging bug holes or bot build up, but makes hitting moving targets so much more harder for some reason. The Punish Plasma is an effective weapon that shines best against armor targets or light armor targets. Against Hordes, it can do fairly well against them, as the AoE effect of the plasma can weaken multiple enemies at once or kill them. However, its low capacity and slow fire rate requires players to be as accurate as possible in firing it, just so they don't waste too much ammo in the process. The Punisher Plasma is completely serviceable against both bots and bugs, no matter the difficulty. It just requires a bit of playing around with first to fully grasp how it works and where it best excels at. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub bar here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.